What's going on guys? Big Rich here. Today we're finishing up Batman the Telltale series, episode 5. We're going to play through it all, but first, previously on Batman the Telltale series, let's get a recap of what we've done so far. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Ah! Oh, oh, you psycho! Oh. Now you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Alright, so we're all caught up. <clears throat> I don't like to talk much while they're, do they're doing the thing. I don't know if you guys remember that at all from the past videos. So, um, well, there's a lot of conversation and text going on on the screen. I don't like to say too much. Uh, I try to mumble what they're saying out loud so you guys don't constantly have to read it. So, um, But for the most part, this is the final episode. I'm going to play right through episode 5. So this video could or could not be the longer than the rest, so still reeling from uh, let's an just get right into it. Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. <sighs> You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long? Do we let this Two-Face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. But hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up! Hey, let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Just in time, Batman. The Mayor screen Dent's freezes his unreal. Goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent is a maniac, and he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. <laughs> Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Oh. <clears throat> oh, we're about to go kick some ass. I think we're about to go kick some ass. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. Oh, damn it. Thank you. 
be in the lobby. The commissioner. And they can't hold out much longer. Breaking people's faces all over walls. It's pretty sweet. Love it. Love it. Commissioner, is he? God damn it! No. Not you two. He died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this, <clears throat> this is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man, a family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all! Kelly! Get out of Sir, there! Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide! Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Alfred, are you safe? Yes. I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit. You're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. Hmm. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Would have been much better if, it would have, if you would have said it's time to end this, Two-Face. But that's just my opinion. I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. No fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Tell you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I, I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is this election or next. We'll let the coin decide. Oh God. Whoa, that's a nice transition. Lucky. 
But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like mm. a coward. Why do you actually grow a backbone? I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? It's gonna have a weird I'm transition. I'm to fight it, Bruce, but... To just kind of like... Can't. Oh, God, here so I am. I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. Mm. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until... What happened with Selena? This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! <laughs> terrorists! <laughs> cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! Wow. No, please! <laughs> this is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away! I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! I swear I Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. Of a silver dollar. You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. Oh God. What did I do? What what did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started. This is the only way to keep people in line. Uh... Otherwise, they walk all over you. I'm not going to say kill me instead. That's just asking Harvey, for trouble. No. This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. Bruce, I need... I need the result. Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... Hmm. I, I can't... Make your own call. Bruce, please, I don't... I don't know what to... I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much, I can't... The fuck? A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. The shit! Standing there awkwardly, not saying anything. It's all over for me. You 
should have let me pull the trigger. Done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. I still have hope for you, Harvey. You'll have the best doctors. Yeah. Sure, Bruce. They can't stop him. No one can stop him. Lol. Mr. Wayne. I was holding the card with his thumb covering half the face. I, I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm going to make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Holy, just firing squad. Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Okay, so that's two face taken care of. So now I have to go take care of. Oh my god, this is still the opening? Wow. So, Two Face is taken care of, or Harvey Dent's taken care of. Now I have to go do uh, Lady Arkham, right? Holy crap. I got goosebumps, man. I got goosebumps going on. This is ridiculous. Your usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce... These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother... She wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't play the <coughs> point, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Oh, Jesus, now I'm supposed to do stuff. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. 
Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but... colorful... diseases. <laughs> Annoying, but not wrote hard down to fix. Or something? Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, <sighs> Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Paul? Oh, just get so angry? All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bat computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? So I didn't find what I'm looking for yet. Um, real estate? Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it... Falcone Island. Ooh. I don't know what the reference is to something, We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Are good for these. Well... Balls, damn it. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. What else am I supposed to do? I looked at everything. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Hmm. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Hmm. 
Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. Okay. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Are we? Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. Selina. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Get to drive the Batmobile, except for in Lamborghini form. Fuck yeah. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with, I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. 
Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? <clears throat> I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me, but you just keep on surprising me. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Dirty. Well, it's been fun. Look at that booty, though. Ugh. You stay out of trouble. Because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. <laughs> I look forward to our next dance. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! That's not good. Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. There's a thing in the wall. Need to focus. Figure <laughs> out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? 
Oh, now I get to find clues and stuff. Okay. Now I get to do this thing all over again. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Fire? Looks like an explosion. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Explosion. Called it already. Ash everywhere. Explosion? Question <laughs> mark? What did they do to you, Alfred? Um, bookshelf. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Better not throw an elf against that wall. I'd be pissed. What are this? Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Hmm. Oh, blue, blue, blue. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. That's interesting. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. There's a lot of stuff to look at. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. How the hell... <laughs> I like that one. It's just, how the hell? <laughs> okay, is that everything? Um... Let's link you with you. Does that do a thing? I don't see a connection here. Shit. Okay. Put you and... Okay, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, pool, pool cue and the splatter, maybe? <clears throat> Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Okay. Um, can I link this with this? Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Link the bookshelf with this? How does that match? Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. I know what happened. Oh, okay. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself, but Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Mm. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. It doesn't? Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. The butler did it. 
password reckoning. What? You have no idea. What? What do you mean the butler did it? I'm so confused. Why did Lady Arkham steal Alpha? Does she know that Wayne's Batman or something? I don't get it. Ugh. She's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Now I get to wear the bat helmet. Cowboy okay, VR. Just freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, what the shit? He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Then why was Let's I able to see here. click on the boxes? That's Moving dumb. On. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Oh, he took the helmet off. Wow. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. It's built here. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. And I guess repair logs? These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. This one. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Let's keep looking. It was not that one. It, this one. You are not going to believe this. I got it right. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House. At the Vale House. Where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Is that a new Something you almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. 
Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Huh. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state-of-the-art. This ends tonight. Hmm. Here we go. Getting excited, getting happy, getting friendly, getting fun, fun, happy time. Oh shit. That is really bright tape. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Oh, I actually have to walk. Whoa. Batman. I'm all right. There's a booby trap. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Blood trail. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged down. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Um. Kick it. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Alfred! Going inside. What the flying? Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? No wonder Vicky is consumed with hate. That's all she's ever known. I can't even imagine. But it doesn't give her the right to take it out on others. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. piece apart from the others. Red. Hmm. The same color as my deck. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Me... whatever the heck that is. Those towers. That must be Arkham Asylum. Oh, Arkham Asylum. Okay. Words. They're highlighted. Taking... Me. That was easy. Alfred left me another clue.
This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He spelled it out here. Taking me. And used Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham? But people would know. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. There's a little dolly. But that's not a happy dolly. That's a scary mean dolly. I don't want. Arkham Asylum, 2.15 a.m. Everybody should be sleeping. Except for Batman. <laughs> Safe to say, I think they took over Arkham Asylum. Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And okay. the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. That's interesting. Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I've been to your home. I've seen where the Vales kept you. People like them. They deserve to be behind bars. Behind bars? They deserved and got far worse than that. Even if they did, no one else needs to die. You're wrong! Your time's run out! Oh, shitty titties. I fucked up, I think. What was that supposed to happen? I don't know! <laughs> Left screen of death, man. This is just retarded. Come on, come on. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me at him. He's the crazy one! Oh, balls. That was easy. I thought there was going to be a lot more fighting. I got all excited and...
Jesus. Some of these cutscenes just make you wonder. You're not getting away, Vicky. Apparently I'm going to be kicking some ass right away. Let's get you taser fight. so hard to broke her mask up. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. The fuck? The hole in the wall, or... Floor. Payment 
for Thomas Wynne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Booby trap. This is making me walk again. Messed up just a little bit. Shit. <laughs> I pressed, You're doing so much pressed down and in Y man. instead of up and Y. I messed up. Do it again. There you go. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. We are nothing alike, Vicky. I fight to save lives. You're a cold-blooded killer. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. Curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Talks a lot. <laughs> now, where the hell am I? Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came. Came for me. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred? Uh-oh. Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? 
Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Uh... Uh... Fuck it. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. <clears throat> You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. How?
I'll never trust you. Oh, shit. As a to last later. week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. <clears throat> uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But... Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Vicky took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> That it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Hmm. That's interesting. Perhaps one is truly the mask. 
and one is who you truly believe you are. Because if I go as Batman, the city kind of will be like, oh, yeah, we can have some justice, yada, yada, yada. But if I go as Batman, they're going to be like, where's Bruce Wayne? No, 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 no. But if I attend as Bruce Wayne, are they going to be like, where's Batman? Uh, fuck it, let's Let go as Bruce know, Wayne. Let Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. CPD headquarters. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use? A chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I should have won as Batman. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses, and some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe.
That was interesting. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. Oh? See you soon, Bruce. Does that mean there's more coming? Does that mean the Joker's gonna be in it? That means Joker's gonna be in it, right? Right? That's gotta mean the Joker's gonna be in it. Done. I am so done. Wow. Okay, well, let's quickly review everything really quickly. Uh, you and 73% of players removed the cowl. Cool. Uh, you and 61% of the players showed up to Gordon's address as Bruce. I knew I should have went as Batman. Fuck. Um. That's it? Okay. Batman season overview unavailable. Please complete all five. I did. Fucking retard. Stupid game. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Okay. Continue. What happens if I hit continue? Anything? Uh, comic books wherever they're sold. Yada, yada, yada. And that brings us back to main menu. Okay, I'm gonna set my controller down. Okay, so that was the end of uh, episode five. Oh, I gotta stretch just that little bit and yawn. <laughs> okay, so love it. Absolutely love this game. It was a great game to play. Um, I do wish it was longer. I really do because I was really enjoying myself. I was I was actually really getting into it. Uh, for a lot of the videos that I've posted, if you've watched them, you've noticed that I haven't really said much of anything. But these videos are actually really long. They're an hour, hour and a half, sometimes 30 minutes. You know, it's it, it's kind of hard to gauge where, where to start for a video. And for episode 5, I want to do the entire thing in one video. And I'm looking at the recording right now. It's an hour and 24 minutes long already. So, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, if you liked this series, please give me a thumbs up on, on the YouTubes. Drop a comment down below as to what your favorite part in this series was. If you want to see more Telltale series games, tell me down below in the comment section. And if you love this content, if you love watching this series, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, hopefully we'll get something good going again for you guys soon. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.